So hey guys, I'm going to do a bit of our travel today. I'm going to do my first long journey uh, from Manchester to Birmingham. So that's 50 miles to Alex's house. It's a two hour journey and I believe I'll stop after an hour. So this is the longest I'm going to have driven since my operation. So it's going to be a challenge, but um, you know, I have painkillers if I need them, but I have not been taking painkillers for the last week and I felt great. So Let's hope I can keep that up. You know, I did weigh myself this morning, um, and I am 13 stone uh, four, which means I've put on three pounds since my last week's weighing, which isn't good to be honest. Um, I don't think I'm exerting enough energy anymore, and by that I mean, you know, like when I was eating this much uh, and I was repairing my stomach and my bum from my operation. I obviously was, you know, using a lot of energy inside to repair myself. Now I'm not using that energy, it's just being turned into fat, so I'm either having to lower my calories or do more. So I'm going to do more because I don't want to eat less than I already am. I think I'm eating a good healthy amount. So, sorry, I've got my boobs out. But like, I don't feel like I've put on a lot of weight really but obviously the scales don't lie so i'm gonna have to be careful keep tracking i tracked all last week uh, i had a bit of a binge last night so i'm gonna keep tracking now i'm gonna get myself ready and i'm gonna pack and i'll show you what i'm gonna take and what i use when i travel okay see you in the next clip check out how organized i am so let me go through it t-shirts two pairs of jeans belt a lot of socks as soon as i always lose them uh, lots of pairs of underwear, a pair of shorts, I only have one, the other one's in the wash, uh, working out tops, pyjamas, tops and bottom, all of my bag stuff that I need, and a leather jacket for if I go out, and of course slippers, because you need to be comfortable, and then all that's going to go in there, and you'll see that in 3, 2, 1, boom! So everything fits in with loads of room to spare. And in the top I have a couple of extra bags, something for dirty clothes, uh, another one for any other mistakes, and I have a sketchbook and pencils in case I get bored when I'm there and I want to do some sketching, because I do that sometimes. So now I'm going to pack my backpack, which will have all of my products in, and I'll do that one now. When you actually get it all out, I have a ridiculous amount of stuff. So all of my bag things, uh, wipes, I still use my antiseptic wipes. And the Fittleworth wipes, hair products, Vaseline, aftershave, more aftershave, deodorant. I find that this Nivea is the best stuff. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. Still taking my vitamins. Uh, these wipes, I'm going to take these now. These are, you can see that? These wipes are flushable. How, so, how much better are they? My water bottle, my laptop. My charger, my portable hard drive, a couple of DVDs, my discharge form, because I'll take that everywhere with some um, some dressings and stuff if I ever need it, and a charger. Oh, and a uh, moisturizing cream. So, all of this will go into that one bag. And that's like an emergency kit. And if you noticed, I put bags in here, and I put bags in there. And the reason for that is you cannot have too many bags. So I'm going to pack that in three, two, one, and packed. Finished everything fit in, and actually has quite a lot of room left. I mean, this bag was quite pricey because I had to get it from, from America. You can see the logo. It's from Alpha Lee, but it fits so much in. Now here is my other bag, same size roughly, but it only has the one pouch on the front and then the big opening. And to be honest. It doesn't hold nearly as much as that, so that has been a lifesaver. And you know, I've got a space for my laptop to make sure it's nice and secure in here. So, you know, this Alpha Leap bag is just so much better. Only a bit more expensive than that. It was just the shipping costs. So, guys, I'm all packed and ready to go. I've just realised that every time I start one of these clips, I say so, guys. Um, sorry for any women watching. I don't know why I keep doing it. But I am all packed to go, so I'm going to go and see my father before I leave. And I was going to try and pick up, if he has it, 
a proper camera so I'm not doing this on my phone anymore and we can get some really nice crisp shots and less shaky and stuff like that and hopefully the quality of my content will improve um, as things progress. I'm actually as well two weeks away from going back to work so from tomorrow it'll be two weeks till I'm back in work and I will do a bit of a talk about what I'm going to do to plan on being prepared for getting back to work other than just sitting down and playing games because I'm a games tester. So there's hoovering going on and I'm going to pack my car and we're going to go to my dad's and hopefully get a better camera. So my dad gave me two cameras but they need charging. There is no battery power in them. They've not been used. Unfortunately he doesn't have his SLR um, so uh, he believes he's misplaced it um, unfortunately but I have two different types, an 8 megapixel and a 16, one with a bit more of a wide lens. Uh, I'll show you them later on, but they need charging overnight to make sure that they work. And I'm going to have to like test them because my phone, my phone is pretty good. I mean, the camera on the front and the back, I mean, this is the camera on the front of my phone. And I think the quality is quite good. So I'm going to have to test uh, which ones, you know, would be best. If nothing's better than my phone, then I'm going to continue using this. Um, there's only one way to find out and that's to test them out so I'm in my car time to get some petrol and then hit the motorway a few moments later so I've already stopped at the services I've stopped because I needed to pee and there was traffic on the motorway I've literally got onto the motorway and then gone to the first services so I'm here at the first services on the motorway well on the M6 I was on the motorway for about half an hour already um, but yeah, I need to pee and I was in traffic so I thought I'm going to come off now because I have no idea how long this traffic is going to be. This traffic could be ages and my advice to anyone, if you feel like you may need to pee or use the bathroom, use the, use the services straight away. Do not think, oh, I'll use the next one. If there's a bit of traffic in front of you, like there's a 50 mile an hour section to the motorway, I'm not sitting in that and, you know, peeing myself. No way. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to set back off again. So walking back to the car. Uh, there's pee everywhere in that place, but unfortunately, I know how to empty my bag without getting pee on me, which, if you haven't seen that video, go watch my drinking video, and there's some helpful tips. Alright guys, back on the road now. Two hours later. So guys, so guys, I always say so guys. So, <laughs> Hello everyone. I am here in Birmingham, I made it without any real problems. Uh, I did hit a bit of traffic, but at the end of the day, that's fine. Fine. I, you know, I got here, uh, I just had my dinner with Alex's parents, we sat outside because the weather was nice, and I'm just going to relax for another week, and then there's one more week after that, and then I'm back in work, and I will do a video about that. So this is going to be a smaller video of just me travelling, and you know, I've got all of my stuff there ready to just be unpacked and put wherever I need it. I have my bag with me, so I have everything I need. Uh, as you saw earlier, I had an easy trip and didn't stop as much as I thought I would, which is great. So, you know, thanks for watching the video. This is more of a catch-up kind of vlog, and I hope you guys are good. And if you have any questions, please email me about Chrome's or clients or having a bag, a clothing bag. Just get in touch. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook. So, I'll catch you guys in a bit.